Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a SmartSuite implementation partner. Now let's talk about how to get your project management up and running on SmartSuite. One of the best ways to get started with SmartSuite is by using a solution template. I'm inside of my workspace, and I'm going to scroll down and click this Add New Solution button and start with a template. This takes me to this huge library of SmartSuite solution templates, and I'm going to scroll down and find Project Management. And you'll notice that there's already several different project management solutions available for our organization. Now, the great part is, is we can get started with one or more of these, depending on the needs of our business or organization. And even if we need to make some tweaks or adjustments along the way, it's so much faster than getting started with a completely blank one. So we're going to talk about some of these main solutions that we're going to use. If your organization is looking just to manage a single ad hoc project, you'll probably want to use the single project template. So here I can take a look at all of my project tasks. We can have different milestones for the project. We can have different deliverables and have those link out to different documents that we have. Issue status reports, depending on where we are in the process. And we can manage our staffing within the application. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, you might have a huge project management organization and you want to be able to manage the standards and consistency of those projects through a PMO or center of excellence. If that's the case, this program management office templates are going to be a good fit for you. We have many of the same apps across the top, but we additionally have the ability to track multiple projects in progress at the same time. Now, one of the things that I like about this template is the ability to have a dashboard to manage everything that's going on in this PMO template. So if I click on my programs here, I can click this drop down of program summary, and this is going to take me to different views of the same data. In this case, I've got a PMO dashboard, which is going to be able to show me top level summary information about our product launches coming up where our teams are located, some information about our programs going on. And in these charts and dashboards that we have, we can even drill through so that we can see the underlying records and take us to those various projects that we're working on. But for most organizations, I'd recommend first starting with the project management template itself. This is going to have the culmination of most of the different apps that are available in the different solutions. So we've got our projects that we're working on. We have our tasks. Those tasks can be divided into milestones. We've got deliverables. We also have change requests. So as these come up from different clients and we need to be able to change the scope of the project, we can do so in here. We've got our status reports. We can even manage our team meetings directly within the application itself. So when I'm looking at project management, we talked about how we had the ability to have different kinds of views. And that's what I really like about this is that even though we update the data and maybe a grid or similar format like this, if I click that drop down, we've got lots of different options here. So I like to think of our tasks in a Kanban view. Let me go ahead and click on this. And this is the same underlying data. So we've got our nice cards that we can see here. It's all drag and drop. So I can move between our different statuses and all of this information is updated for my team at the same time. Time tracking usually goes hand in hand with project management because we want to manage the efficiency of our team. There's a time tracker template that you can utilize as well. And this has pre-baked timesheets where you can actually link to the clients and the projects and utilize this time tracking log to be able to make sure that you know exactly how much time is being spent on each task or on each project. Now, one of the things that I love about SmartSuite is the different kinds of dedicated field types that they have for project management. If you look, we've got several different fields for project essentials. And just to take a quick look at them, we already talked about that time tracking log, but we can have priority of tasks. We can have our status. We've got our due dates for tasks, and we've got a nice little indicator that this is an upcoming task. We can measure what percent were complete, and we can have a checklist of subtask items. This is really helpful to not have to necessarily create another app to be able to track this, but instead be able to have these subtasks within the context of that record and even assign these out to people. One of the cool things about SmartSuite is the ability to have a unified My Work area. And so rather than have all your apps and solutions be disparate and entirely detached from each other inside of the system, like many other no-code tools out there, instead you get this unified My Work, which gives you that summary of all the items that are overdue or coming up. And you can look across multiple different solutions to see what you need to work on. You can get your project management team up and running on SmartSuite today with that simple click of a button to add a new solution, start with that template, find the project management area, and get going with the solution that works best for your team.